Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you guys to the conversation. So today, I got a really good question for all of you out there. Now, you all know that the season is fastly approaching. It's going to be here in less than, let's say, 45 days, and training camp is going to get started, and all the storylines of the NBA are going to come back, and I'm really excited. I know you guys are hype, and all the teams with all the player movement, and all these duos, and I think it's going to be amazing. But first, let's talk about what happened last season. So, Last season in the playoffs, two things happened. We're going to talk about the East, Eastern Conference today. So the first thing that happened was, do you guys notice that Ben Simmons only took one field goal outside the paint for the entire regular season? Okay, now we're talking about a shot between 20 to 24 feet, and he went one for one, so he shot 100%. Now, a lot of people were picking the Sixers to come out of the East because they were stacked, they had all of this talent, but they had one glaring deficiency, and that was in Ben Simmons' ability to hit an open jump shot. So we got that one storyline that sort of played out in the playoffs last year. Then we have the other one, and who, in the Greek freak, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and he sort of got through the playoffs without really anybody noticing his, his, this weakness in his game, up until the point they went against the Toronto Raptors, and he decided to put Kawhi Leonard on him and try to force him into being a jump shooter. And that's what we saw Giannis kind of get exposed for not being a really good, consistent perimeter player. So the question today is, who's going to develop a jump shot before the season is over by the time they get into the playoffs? Will it be Ben Simmons or will it be Giannis Antetokounmpo? So that's what we're getting into today, and that's what, I'm, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Now, let's just look at the stacks, stats of these two guys, and let's compare them to, the, to sort of uh, another perimeter player that did really well. So let's look, at, let's look at Ben Simmons. Last season, he averaged 16.9 points, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 7.7 .7 assists. These are, these are beast numbers. The only problem is that Ben Simmons, his biggest deficiency in his game is his ability to shoot the ball. Now, one person in particular that pointed this out quite a bit last season was Stephen A. Smith saying... The minute Ben Simmons develops a jump shot, he said he's going to be the MVP and the Sixers going to win the championship. He didn't have a jump shot last season, and they ended up not winning the championship. Now, looking at Giannis, obviously Giannis Antetokounmpo is a better player than Ben Simmons. For any of you guys watching this, that, this is not, I'm not breaking news here. Giannis is better than Ben Simmons. Giannis averaged 27.7 points a game, 12.5 rebounds, 6 assists. Uh, last year, so he was just a beast. And the thing about Giannis is that he's been getting better every single season. So Giannis, I don't have too much criticisms for him. He's done a lot of things really well. He's developed. He's added more weight on his body. But now we're talking about what's going to need to happen for these two teams or these two players to take the next step to really get their teams into the finals. Now Giannis came really close because last season the Milwaukee Bucks went to the Eastern Conference Finals where they lost in, in six games to the Toronto Raptors. Some people say if Giannis was more of a complete offensive player, um, then he would be able to... Uh, a lot of people are saying that most likely the Bucks would have beat the Raptors to go into the finals. Now, let me just read you some of Giannis' stats. Within the paint area, he shot... I mean, this, we're talking about less than five feet and in. He shot 72%. So whenever he took a shot from that range, he was really, really, really uh, effective, and he made pretty much... Three out of every four attempts that he that he that he attempted, but when you started when when he went 20, 20 feet and out, he started his averages started to go down all the way down to twenty six to twenty five percent. So those are Giannis's stats. Now, if you look at Ben Simmons in the painted area, this is less than five feet in. He shot sixty five percent, but then as he started getting to the ten and fourteen feet range, he shot twenty five percent. Fifteen feet to nineteen feet, he shot nine point five percent, and of course. He shot 100% from the 20 to 24 feet, but that's because he took one shot and he made that one shot. Okay, that's the reason why he shot 100%. So, the, in all likelihood, it looks like Giannis is going to have a much better uh, shot at actually developing a mid-range game before um, Ben Simmons does. Because at least Giannis has displayed the ability to shoot that shot, which means that he has more confidence in himself. You can obviously tell, because you can tell who's a more confident player uh, uh, when it comes to shooting from the perimeter just by the amount of shots that Giannis took, which shows you that he has more confidence in himself uh, to make those shots because he took more shots. Whereas Ben Simmons completely became, uh, let's say, a liability on the court when he got to that point in the game when defenses would give him open shots from the mid-range and um, he was left to shoot them and he really didn't take that opportunity. 
which kind of hurt his team a lot uh, in the playoffs. Same thing that used to happen to Russell Westbrook, except Russell Westbrook had a real deficiency at hitting the pull-up jump shot. And that was the reason um, in the 2000, I think 2010, 2011, or 2012 season, the Lakers were able to overcome them in the playoffs because Russell Westbrook couldn't hit that shot. Over time, he was, over, he was able to develop that shot. He became more consistent with being able to hit the mid-range pull-up coming out, especially in the break, which really expanded his game and made him much more lethal as, a, as an offensive player. Now, let's put this in contrast. Let's put it... Let's put it. Uh, let's let's contrast this with Kawhi Leonard, who was the Finals MVP. So looking at Kawhi's stats last season, he averaged 26.6 points a game, seven rebounds, and three assists a game. Right now, if you look at his shots within the you know the painted area, that's five feet and in, he hit 67% of his shots. Shots between the five to nine foot uh, area, he shot 47%, uh, 47%, which is actually higher than Ben Simmons. And Giannis, which is pretty interesting because most of Giannis' shots usually come from the paint. Now, uh, especially within that area, that striking range. Then if you go all the way out to 15 and 19 feet, he shot 45%. In contrast to Ben Simmons, who shot uh, 25%, and Giannis, who shot about 40%. So Giannis did pretty good. And then, of course, Kawhi Leonard from the 20 uh, to 24-foot range and, you know, uh, all the way up to 29 feet, he pretty much shot 40% or 39, 35 to 40%. So Kawhi Leonard is definitely a much more balanced offensive player, and it's the reason why he's able to attack from so many different spots on the floor, just because of his ability to hit um, perimeter shots from different points on the, uh, different points, uh, uh, on the floor. So Kawhi Leonard is definitely a much more complete player. So although Giannis averaged more points than Kawhi Leonard, um, Kawhi Leonard is clearly a better offensive player. It's just that maybe Kawhi Leonard doesn't take a high volume of shots and maybe he doesn't play a lot of minutes. But if Kawhi Leonard were to play, let's say, 38 minutes a game and were to take a, a, subst a substantial amount of shots, chances are he would be able to average over 30 points really easily at shooting, at a very shooting at a very efficient clip. Whereas if you look at what Russell Westbrook, who's a, really, who's a volume shooter, who can take a, tr a ton of shots, but he'll miss a lot of them. Kawhi Leonard is very, 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 very efficient. So I just wanted to juxtapose these numbers for you guys to compare it so you guys can see what these players, especially Giannis and um, Kawhi as contemporaries, a lot of people can consider them to be the top three players in the world. So you can see where Kawhi Leonard sort of excels ahead of Giannis. But then again, Kawhi doesn't have the size and doesn't, you know, doesn't have the ability to, to bump as much as Giannis sort of seems to look for that type of contact. But the purposes, but for the purposes of this video, my question still remains, who do you think is going to be able to develop a mid-range jump shot between Ben Simmons and Giannis? Now, my honest prediction is I think Giannis is just going to continue to improve. He's just going to get better. Why? Because he's shown the ability to do so over time. I've already seen that from him. He gets better over time, whereas Ben Simmons seems to sort of kind of stay the same. Now, I think a lot of that has to do with his attitude. I don't know Ben Simmons, obviously, but from the way he sort of approached um, the NBA prior to, getting into, prior to getting into the NBA, he didn't seem really interested. Only really to get, the only, his only main focus seemed to be to get to the NBA. But now that he's there, you know, I think this is his third year, second or third year playing, we're not really seeing as much improvement as we are from a player, for example, like Giannis. Giannis is making tremendous uh, leaps and bounds. So, I'm putting my money on Giannis. Now, Magic Johnson recently came out and said on a sports show, I won't mention the name, where he said that, you guys, you know, wait, wait till you see what Ben Simmons has in store for the rest of the league. You know, he's been working on his jump shot and he's going to surprise a lot of people. Uh, I'd, rather, I'd rather see it to believe it. You know, Magic said a lot of things about uh, Alonzo Ball saying he was going to have his jersey retired in Raptor. He got that wrong too. So I wouldn't put too much emphasis on those comments instead i'll wait to see but if i was a betting man i would definitely bet on Giannis. so this is what i want to know from you guys if you guys had to bet your money who do you think between these two players Giannis antacumpo and ben simmons who's going to develop a jump shot before the other person if you have any thoughts and opinions i want you guys to please leave your comments in the comment section below tell me why you think so if you have a good argument please let me know so i i actually enjoy commenting back and forth with you guys getting into you know, uh, heated debates just to know what you guys think because I am not the voice on sports. I'm just giving you my take, my opinion. That's what we do at Dreamers Pro. We're just trying to come at things with a diff from a different angle. So I definitely want to hear what you guys think. So if you have any thoughts, 
and opinions, leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, don't forget to hit the, hit the uh, subscribe button right here to get more of our videos and hit the notification bell to be notified when our newest content comes out. With that being said, this is Charles here wishing you guys a great day from Dreamers Pro. Peace!